Hello there, I'm Joel McIver and I am the author of this book, Justice for All, The Truth About Metallica, which came out in 2004 and subsequently has gone into 10 foreign languages and sold around the 50,000 copy mark, which I'm very proud of. Um, I was thinking today, why is this book done well? You know, why after 11 years in print and several editions and a million trees in the rainforest sacrificed to this book, why is it done well? And one of the reasons is that it goes very deeply into the personalities in Metallica. It talks about what shaped them. It talks about the very, very sort of uh, European liberal middle class upbringing of drummer Lars Ulrich. It talks about the sort of diametrically opposed upbringing of singer James Hetfield, uh, the kind of, I don't want to say redneck, but certainly there's a, uh, there's a working class approach to life that informs his, his worldview um, and so on. It goes especially deeply into the life and work of Cliff Burton, the bass player who died in 1986 and was always a big hero of mine. I did a lot of first generation research, research into what exactly happened back then uh, in that coach crash uh, in Ljungby in Sweden. Pulled in a load of uh, witnesses to talk about that and, and to emphasise the ambiguity of what actually happened on that day. Anybody who's familiar with the uh, Metallica story will understand what a key turning point that was in their history. And that, in this book, is explored quite deeply. One of the other ways in which this book, I think, does well is that it looks very deeply at the albums where Metallica perhaps weren't at their best. And if you're a Metallica fan, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Specifically, we're talking about the Load album from 1996, the Reload album from 97, and St. Anger, which was from 2003. Now, these albums did not show Metallica at their best. And what I do is I go deeply into the reasons why that was the case. The motivations behind the music, the execution of the music, the mood that the band were in at the time, and the events that surrounded them, and the environment in which they were working. In many ways, Metallica are the Led Zeppelin of our generation. It's very, very difficult to overstate their importance to today's music scene. Um, and this book, I feel, documents that evolution in great depth. And I'd love you to check it out. If you're a Metallica fan, um, please consider looking into this book. Thank you very much.